helping out our troops that are in service, helping us out overseas and internal. Yes. All right. Why, why are you doing this? To be a big say thank you to all the services they have done for us. Mm -hmm. Not just here in this community, but throughout the whole country. Mm -hmm. Just taking a really like special spot in my heart too, because we assign each box to a person, and then you see these families come in and you know pack a box either to someone they know, like their son or daughter, or grandson. But then you have people who aren't connected to anyone on these boxes, but yet they still pack them like it's someone that they know, uh, and it's a really like personal box them for them. Um, we also have cards that go in them from uh, the different school age kids and we have the volunteers all write personal notes to them too and stick them in the boxes. Um, and that's always the soldier's favorite thing to get in the box is this adorable, you know, drawn out card from a, a, ten, a 10 year old, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, it's, it's just become a really special thing. Um, even though it's just part of my job, I really enjoy helping out with it. So originally we had a staff member who had a son who was deployed and she had uh, some other uh, families that she knew that had people deployed and she thought, hey, let's, you know, start this and get it going and see what we can do. Um, they used to, you know, 15 boxes, 30 boxes. Now we're hopefully going to send over 150 boxes. Mm. So. How many volunteers do you think you've had so far? Um, I know we'll have at least 76, as that's what signed up. Um, but I know there was a good number of people here today that didn't even sign up and just showed up to help. So mm. I would definitely say in the 90s. Um, and then, you know, on top of that, all of these things were donated by people too. So they might not physically be here, but there's, you know, probably a thousand people who helped out across the Chippewa Valley to make this a success. So. My son went into the military. And I saw the impact that it had the three years that he was overseas. And when he would receive the boxes and the impact that it had on him and his troops. Mm -hmm. So you were able to send a box to your son. Where was he? Well, he was stationed uh, two times. And all, I, all we can say is in Africa uh, because of the confidentiality of that. But both times that he was, he did tours in Africa, he received boxes and many of his troop mates received boxes. And Alex would say it was the single most important event of that week when they got their boxes. Um, my son and a few other young men that we knew from Chippewa Falls had gone in the military. And um, I was, as a mom, sending him care packages. And he would correspond and say, Mom, there's other guys over here that aren't getting anything, you know. And uh, could we um, have packages sent to them? So I think the first year we did it, there were probably about eight names of individuals that got sent packages. It could have been some of my son it's friends and it was also some individual families at the Y whose sons or daughters were also deployed at the time and so then they were receiving a box. Much smaller scale than what's going on <laughs> today. Wow. So from that point, it kind of just kept growing from one year to the next. You know, it's like eight or 10 packages and pretty soon you were at 15, 20 names. You know, then we were opening it up to the membership and saying, do, do you or anybody you know um, have someone that's serving? 